half square triangles are a really common unit that's used in a lot of different quilt blocks. Today, I'm going to show you a method for doing these that makes eight at a time. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. If you make traditional quilt blocks, I'm sure you've seen half square triangle units. Squares made up of two triangles that are joined on the diagonal. Often these pieces are used in multiples of four, so being able to make eight at a time can be a real time saver. Follow along and I'll show you how to make eight half square triangles. To make the half square triangle units, you're gonna need two large squares in the two fabrics that you're making the pieces out of. And these are going to be the finished size of your pieces plus one times two. So in this situation, I want my finished squares to be two and a half inches. So that's without seam allowance, two and a half inches. So I add one to that to get three and a half inches. And then I double that to get the size square I want, which is seven inches. So I have a seven inch square here. Then on the back of one of them, I'm going to draw some lines. So I'm going to draw a center line in both directions, horizontal and vertical, and then a diagonal line in both directions. So once the lines have been drawn, I'm going to put the two fabrics right sides together. Then I'll take it to the sewing machine and I'm going to stitch a quarter inch away on both sides of the diagonal lines only. For stitching, you ignore the horizontal and vertical lines. So once the stitching's been done, a quarter inch away from both diagonal lines, now we're gonna take it to the cutting mat and we're gonna cut on all the lines, horizontal, vertical, and diagonal. And when they're cut apart, we can see we have the half square triangles. Now take them to the ironing board and press them so that the seam goes underneath the dark fabric. Now we have our half square triangles finished. We just need to trim them down to the exact size that we need. So for these, I want the finished size without seam allowances to be two and a half inches. So I'm gonna trim them down to three inches because I have to add the half inch for seam allowance. So using a ruler with the diagonal line, I will line up the diagonal line with the seam and I will trim to get down to the perfect three inch size. So there we go. We have eight perfect half square triangle units just the size that we want. So what's so good about this method of making half square triangles? Well, it makes eight at a time, which is a good number because often half square triangles are used in multiples of four. Also, the math is pretty easy to do as long as you remember the formula, add one, then multiply times two. So what's not so great about this method? Well, it's having to square everything up does take time and could be tedious, even though it's necessary to give you the correct size units. Also, it does make eight at a time. So if you only need four, you wouldn't want to bother with this method. And lastly, if you're working with very large squares and you don't have a quarter inch foot on your sewing machine, it can be difficult to measure a quarter inch away from the line that you marked. If you have a sewing machine foot that is close to a quarter of an inch, you can use that. But if it's larger than a quarter of an inch, then your pieces aren't going to be big enough. So this method is sometimes useful and I give it three thimbles out of five. For more quilting tips, tutorials, and ideas, be sure to check out my website, 
ebitastudio.com.